Instagram fundamental. So there's a lot of terms that get thrown out about all kind of social media platforms. Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, Twitter, X. But a lot of the times we don't actually know what they mean. It's almost like it's too deep in now to ask. So I'm just gonna cover some of the key terms and I think it's actually like, it's really useful to know these things because sometimes these terms get used the wrong way and it can be quite confusing. Followers. So we all know what followers are, subscribers on YouTube. Most people and brands are chasing follower accounts. Followers are essentially people who have chosen to see your content on their feed. Now, a few years ago, it used to be that if somebody followed you, they would likely see about 70 to 80% of what you posted. So if you posted a photo, they'd probably see it. But in a post 2020 world, Algorithms changed and that isn't the case anymore. Now, if someone follows you, unless they engage with your content, they're likely to only see about 10 to 20% of anything you post. If they do engage with most of the content of yours that they do see, then that number increases and they start to see more and more. But if they're not engaging, that number will get smaller and smaller to the point where someone follows you, but they might not see anything you post or they might see just one thing. That means that the, the meaning, the definition of followers and the value they bring has changed quite drastically. And so brands and companies aren't necessarily interested in your following. It's a metric, but now a far more important metric compared to followers is your engagement and your reach. And I mean, we know this, right? You've seen someone that has 100,000 followers on Instagram, but then they post a reel and it gets like 2,000 views or they post a photo and it gets like 20 likes and you're thinking, what, how is this possible? But it's for that very reason that their followers aren't engaging with what they post and so they get shown to less and less. The good news is that reach and engagement are open to just about everybody. The barrier to entry to grow isn't that steep. And if you apply the right strategy, you can do it and grow very rapidly without too much work. Which brings me on to the next point, which is reach. So reach is the total number of users that view your content regardless of if they follow you or if they don't. Impressions and reach are not the same thing, but a lot of people kind of interchange the two of them, but that's not the case. Reach essentially measures the spread of your content across the platform. So on Instagram, reach is measuring how far your content can go and how many people are actually engaging with it. And Instagram will cap your reach based on the performance of each individual piece of content. Reach is essentially a signal that you make good content that engages a wide audience. Now, sometimes your content might be quite niched down. And so you might think, uh, maybe my reach should be small because I have a very specific niche. But you also have to remember that there are billions of users on social media and you can reach a lot of them. So don't limit yourself into thinking that. You can have numbers of 5, 10 million reached. I've done it before. It goes up and down. Sometimes I have 4 million reached. Sometimes I have 300,000 but you can get a really massive reach if you have a good reel that captures a wide audience. Which brings me on to impressions. So impressions are the amount of times a user has seen your content. That can come in a variety of ways. So let's imagine I'm Logan and I've posted a reel and John sees my reel on his feed. Boom, I've got one impression. But then I share my reel to my story and John clicks on my story. Boom, second impression. Then one of John's friends thinks my content's great and he sends it to John as well. John sees it in his DM and he doesn't click on it this time, but he still sees it pop up. Boom, three impressions. So an impression is just any time someone has seen your content, even if they're just skipping past, even if they didn't look at it, if it's popped up on their feed, they've got an impression. For this reason, impressions tend to be a lot higher than reach because you can make a whole lot of impressions. Views. 
So this is a number we all know, we're probably quite familiar. A view is whenever a user views your content. Now, in early 2024, Instagram rolled out a new feature where replays count as views, which means that if you do a post and it's on your, your feed and someone clicks it and they watch it, that's a view. But then if you posted it to your story and they see it there, that's also a view. But what a lot of people don't realize is that there's a minimum threshold for a view to be counted. On average, it's about three seconds, but it depends on the size of the reel. So if a reel is say seven seconds, then three seconds isn't, isn't gonna cut it. It needs to be even longer. So they need to watch say five seconds, more than 50% of the video. But if you have a 60 second video, then it's just three to four seconds, Form that's a view. Views are an important part of engagement, but they're not all of engagement. And sometimes you can have a video that's getting a whole bunch of views, but then it just kind of dies and it stops being shared out, reached to people. And that's because it's missing some other parts, which we're about to get into. Target audience. This essentially means the type of users that you're trying to attract as you're following. A lot of people just skip the target audience step. They just start making content and hope they gain followers. But if you don't know who your target audience is, it's really hard to reach them and connect with them because you're just trying to reach everybody. And that's just not the way Instagram followers work. You have to know who your audience is and then make content that makes them want to follow you, want to keep engaging with what you post. And the only way to do this is to know who your target audience is and what their pain points are. Now the marketers in the world know all about this. They know about age, location, demographics, spending power, habits, patterns, everything. What I've done is consolidate all of that into a little sort of diagnoser that uses AI to work it out. And we're gonna get into that in the next module. All you have to do is answer a few questions and it'll work out your target audience for you. So don't stress about this too much, but do keep in mind that knowing your target audience is a key element to growing. Just for our stats, I started 2023 with 1100 Instagram followers and about 100 TikTok followers. And I ended the year with 75,000 Instagram followers and 25,000 TikTok followers for a combined following of 100,000.